my name is Kamal Nawash, and I'm a, I'm a Palestinian. My family is from Ain Karam and uh, Malha. Um, I've, uh, I, I live in the United States. I work as a lawyer in Washington, D.C. Like any Palestinian, no matter where you are in the world, you, uh, the Palestinian-Israeli conflict continues to be part of your life 24 hours a day. And like many, uh, I wanted to solve this. And the honesty of it is for many Jews, uh, Israel is not the land they acquired in 1948. It includes what they call Judea and Samaria, others know as the West Bank and Gaza, um, or the West Bank. And for, for all Palestinians, the truth is, Palestine is not Judea and Samaria. It's not the West Bank and Gaza. It includes all of Israel. And so obviously, the, a solution that involves separation, I didn't believe worked because neither side really wanted it. And I think the fact that they haven't been able to reach a solution that, uh, based on Oslo in the tw after 20 years of trying is really no one's fault. I think the solution itself is very difficult for both sides. I reached the idea that uh, we need not one state, not to merge into one nation, not to separate into uh, two people, but to have together two people into one state, into one federal state. For Israel, so it's an old idea. First, it began with uh, our prophet Moses, that uh, because the whole Israel was a federation of tribes, yeah? <laughs> and uh, your prophet, uh, Prophet Muhammad, had the same uh, model, and he, he began to build a federation of tribes. So we have this background, this common background together. <laughs> I would say two states are not possible for many reasons. First, because we are living uh, with each other and it's not possible to put a, a border between us. The other problem is that Israel never, will never allow another army to be between the river and the sea. It is, it is too dangerous. Obviously, the basis of this state is the free movement of labor and people. We understand that each side has religious, historical, and emotional ties to every square inch of Israel-Palestine, so you can't really deprive them of it. I met Yehuda uh, after, after, after it became obvious to us that uh, a federation or a shared future was the solution. I started looking for Jews who, who would share this, uh, this thought. To make the whole well, there was no one here waiting for us. No, we, we were waiting. Oh, you were waiting here. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay. We were waiting. That's my political opinions. Okay, I'm gonna put this on, and so, and I really hope, hope you can feel comfortable with me putting this on, because it's part of my identity. So I'm going to do this. So, um, in order for us to find this, uh, I, as he said, I'm a lawyer, I'm from Washington, D.C. I consider myself an Orthodox Muslim. My plan is what they call the United Federation. Obviously, I'm talking about being one country. And the basis of the, the reason I, I, I came, we came up with this plan is that we recognize, as I said earlier, that Jews have religious, historical, and emotional attachments to all of Israel and including Judea, Samaria, and Aza. I recognize that. And I also recognize that every Palestinian has strong attachment to all of Israel all of Judea, Samaria, and Aza. Just like Jews they believe they have a legitimate right to be in Ariel, Palestinians feel they have a legitimate right to be in Tel Aviv, in Haifa, and Nasra. This is the reality. I, I'm not giving you my opinion. Every Palestinian in here feels they have a right. Well, first of all, a word of encouragement. You know, I think we should encourage 
Palestinian like Kamal to come forward to speak at the Israeli academic institutions and offer solutions were out of the box. Not the same regular regurgitation, the right of return, and we want the, the and then eventually we'll take over Palestine. At the same time, I must admit, this is a very naive type of, of, of uh, solution. I mean, this, uh, this is something where you say, well, forget about the rest of the world. It's only you and us together in the same boat, and let's live together. Well, if you were out there on the high seas, you know, in the middle of a tsunami storm or whatever, yes, then the, the only thing, we have to stick together in order to survive. But this is not the case, you know. Israel and the Palestinians were surrounded by other forces, by radical Islamic movements, by tsunami waves of economic uh, upheaval that is going on through the Middle East, with the Arab Spring. All these elements, you know, impinge on the ability of the two people to get to sit together and to come to a viable, realistic solution.